Jonathan Gavoni here of DraftExpress.com here at the Adidas Nations in Los Angeles with New Zealand big man Stephen Adams. Stephen, how's this week going for you so far? It's good. It's real hot. It's good. Uh, looks like you, you had a big time matchup here with one of the best big men prospects in 2012, Caleb Tarzuski, and it looks like you more than held your own. Is this uh, a place for you to come out and prove yourself? Um, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I just yeah, like to play. Tell me about the uh, the, the, the last uh, year since we've seen you. Uh, you know, what, what have you been up to? Just school and training. Yeah, just basketball. And training. How excited are you to uh, to play for Jamie Dixon and Pitt? Oh, it's, yeah, I've, I'm real excited for it. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, he said that he like does hard training and stuff. Yeah, so that's gonna be cool. For people who haven't seen much of you, which is a lot of people, uh, how would you describe yourself as a basketball player? Uh, what do you mean? Like, well, what are your strengths and weaknesses? I don't know. Just running, playing. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what are your uh, What are your goals uh, in terms of uh, you know a couple years down the road? Um, just to um, get a degree and stuff. And oh well, that's off basketball and for basketball, make NBA. Hopefully, yeah. Where will you be playing uh, this season until you enroll at Pitt? Um, I'll be just nowhere. No way. New Zealand, um, New Zealand season has finished, so I'll just be training, really. Yeah, until until I get to um, Pittsburgh. You got a little taste of professional basketball this year, playing in the New Zealand league against uh, guys that are a lot older than you. What was that like? Oh, it was hard. Like it's like it's so much different. Like it makes you like realize that you know you can't you can't do it on your own. You know what I mean? You act, you actually have to work as a team, like real. Real good as a team, was you know you won't win. I think yeah, it was hard, and um, yeah, it was hard. Everyone's stronger than you, quicker, more athletic. So makes you think about what you what can you do to like to um, improve yourself to be as good as them. Yeah. Um, when did you start playing basketball? How did that come about? Um, I played it in intermediate when I was um, yeah back in New Zealand. I was yeah. Play. Oh, what's that here? I don't know what it is here. Like elementary school, middle school. What? 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 what how old were you? Like, I was, think I was like 12, 11, 12. Yeah, playing then. That was pretty cool. And I started take, to take it seriously about 15. Yeah, 15. Hmm. Where? Uh, where does those uh, you know athletic tools come from? Is that is that a genetic thing? Athletic, yeah, like your, you know, your size, your athletic. I mean, your family background. I mean, are there other athletes in your in your family? Oh uh, yeah, we got heaps of athletes. Um, both of my brothers, like all my brothers, pretty much played um, basketball, and yeah, they were like real tall, you know, big Sasquatch kind of guys. Mm. And uh, your your sister, I uh, was reading a little bit about her. A very interesting story. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Oh, the she's the shop owner. Yeah, she, she's a shop putter. Um, she's got gold medals from the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Just a typical story, I guess. Every day you come across something like that. Shop, you know, sister of the sh uh, shot put gold medal Olympian. I guess so. I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Steven, I want to thank you so much and, uh, and uh, wish you best of luck. Yeah, that's good. Thanks.